and he, he's talking about we've got a high priest. It's not the Pope. It's the, it's the Lord Jesus Christ. He's the one that we can go, you know, uh, and take our prayer request and take it to him and he'll take it before God and, and God will answer. When he takes that prayer request before God, God will answer that prayer no matter what it is. God will answer it because of his son, because of his dearly beloved son. He, and he said uh, there in verse 22, he said, Let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith and having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. So if we're cleaned up tonight, you know, get our hearts cleaned up, get ourselves right with God, we can draw nigh to Him, and the Bible said He'll draw nigh unto us. Right. You see, you know, we've got to come to Him with a true heart and full assurance that He will, and full assurance of faith, putting their faith and trust and believing upon Him, and God will clean up the inside and the outside. I mean, he, he does a perfect job. He don't do a halfway job. And the Bible says there, let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering. Uh, and and uh, for he is faithful that promised. You know, uh, you know, the purpose of going to church is to get all pumped up, get all primed up. You know, the people, you know, if you lay around the house, you don't go to church, you lay around the house, you watch these old bad movies that's on TV and all this uh, evil and things that's going on over, over the world and even listen to the news. You know what? You're going to be in a state of depression. So you know it. You'll be all down and out. And, and brother, you see what's going on all over the world. It, it's depressing. But uh, Jesus said in the world, he said, you'll have tribulation, but he said, be of good cheer, I've overcome the world. Amen. Now, if you go to the house of God, you're going to hear something good from God. Amen. You're going to hear something good for him, from him because uh, the Bible said every perfect gift comes down from the Father above for which we have to do. So we're going to hear something from God. So uh, uh, that's why we go to church. We get all get all primed up, you know, get all pumped up for the next week, work week, you know. Sometimes we're going to have a, a problem at work, you know, or, or may have a problem at home or a problem. I mean, everybody's got their problems, right? Oh, yeah. You know, if we just uh, dwelled on our problems all the time, uh, we'd be men most miserable. I'm right. just here, here I'm, I, just, I can speak for myself. I, I don't know about you all, but I'd be man most miserable if, it, if I just dwelled on my problems all, uh, all the time, but I'm glad I got a problem solver. <laughs> I'm glad I got one that I can take all my troubles to, and, and he hears my prayers and answers my prayers. I'm glad I got a friend that sticks closer than a brother. Amen. And the Bible said in verse 24, let us consider one another to provoke uh, unto love and to good works. You know, that's, that's another reason we need to go to church. Uh, so we can consider one another. We all got our problems. And he said, cast all your cares on me for I care for you. The Lord cares for us tonight. You know, the world out there don't care nothing about your problems. They don't care what happens to you. They're concerned about their self. They're concerned about their family, their, uh, uh, their, uh, 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 maybe their finances or whatever. They're not concerned about yours. But, you know, God's people is concerned about you. Uh, they, they got a burden for you. Uh, they got a love for you. It's a love. It's a perfect love that casts out fear. You know, uh, and you know we don't uh, fear because we got that perfect love uh, that's in Christ Jesus. It's a love that goes beyond what man might ask or think. You know, it's a kind of love that we have. Uh, we love people even though they don't love God. They don't love their self. They don't love their neighbor. You know, God's people still loves them if they don't love them. The Bible teaches us to love our enemies. And I tell you, if you're saved by the grace of God, you even love your enemies. Jesus, hey, you say, well, I tell you, if you've got that love of Christ, when Christ was there on the Calvary's cross and they were crucifying him, he said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. I mean, the world don't understand what they are doing tonight, Brother Jim. The Bible says their heart is desperately wicked. Wicked. Their heart is desperately wicked, and who can know it? They don't even know their own heart. 
and they're doing things that, uh, you know, uh, to, uh, they're doing things to destroy their family. They're living in sin. They're not coming to God's house. They're not listening to the Word of God. They're not listening to the counsel of God. But they're doing their own thing. They're trying to live their own life the way that they want to live it. And brother, what what's happening to them, brother? They're having trouble. They're having, uh, uh, you know, it's. I think a lot of all this sickness and a lot of all these diseases. You know, the Bible uh, tells me that He teaches me that back in under the law that there, He said, if you'll do what I've commanded you to do, He said, I won't bring none of these diseases on you, or none of these sickness. You know, uh, today, uh, you know, our people as Christian people, we are suffering because of what's going on in the world. Yeah. Christian people are suffering. The Bible says it rains on the just and the unjust alike. Now what's going on is sin is growing in America. Right? And I think here just the last this past week that they legalized gay marriage in Utah. So and I believe that makes 15 states. It's already been legalized that they can marry, a man can marry a man, women can marry women. I mean, that's already been established. But I tell you, it's growing rapidly and it's coming to Kentucky. And they legalized marijuana in Colorado just this past week. And now they're trying to get it legalized in Kentucky. Am I right, Representative? They're trying to get it legalized in 